So you found the horse of your dreams. You found the horse that you think looks amazing and you want to catch it. And you have the same problem that everyone else has, which is a lot of times actually getting the horse is kind of a pain in the butt and takes a while and is not fun. All sorts of things can go wrong from enemies appearing to them just spooking over nothing, basically. Lots of stupid things can happen. But I found an exploit in this game that makes that not a problem anymore. So now we can catch any horse we want whenever we want. Just period. No strings attached. No catch. Just easily catch any horse that you want. I'm going to show you how to do it, guys. And it's amazing. And once you know how to do this, you'll never want to go back to the old way you were doing things. Never again will you want to go back to that old way of doing things, of the actual standard way of catching these guys. So once you've found a horse spawn, found the horse you want, there's only one thing you're really going to need for this, is you are going to need a stone axe. Or any sharp thing. Ideally an axe, though. Because axes are better at cutting down trees. Okay, so now you're going to want to go find trees. Now, if the horses you found are not near trees, it's not a big deal as long as there's trees somewhere that you can get access to or if they're just building materials. Because you can do the same thing I'm about to do with just random building materials, honestly. So there's just you need to find something that you can build with. So if you don't have an axe, you can use a sword, although it's not as good for cutting down trees. And again, like I said... You can just find building materials. You could probably use rocks, even, for that matter. But what we're going to need with trees, what we're going to do with trees today, what we're going to need with these trees is we are going to need four trees. We're going to have to cut down four trees. So I have something left to cut. Yeah, I do. Okay. We need four trees. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use Ultra Hand. We're going to take these logs... And we're going to put them near each other. All right. So now... Oh, let me grab that. Now we're going to bring this one in. Hold on. Well, that was... You just, man, try to make a video here. Come on, man. Well, when you're trying to make a video, that's when things go wrong. Okay, let's cut down another tree. All right. Like I said, four trees. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach one log to another log at a right angle like this. Then what we're going to do is take this log and we're going to attach it at a right angle with this log as well and make like this prong shape. Okay. Now we're going to take the last one and we're going to rotate it like this. And we're going to attach it to the end of this. Now, ideally what you're going to want to do, I'm going to want to redo this here. Just to make it a little bit easier on yourself, try to make this to where it's spaced out as much as it can. Uh, you want as big of a uh, square as you can get. And now we've got a square. The most overpowered structure in the entire game for horse taming. Alright, so now let's rotate this. Let's drop it. Let's get a better angle on it. Alright, let's get it to where we can reach the furthest. Alright, so now we're going to move it up with the right thumbstick. And then with the D-pad, we're going to hold forward until it goes as far as it can go, which is really far. And then what we're going to do, let's say that black horse. I really like how that black horse looks. So you can see the green square on the ground. Well, what you can do is you can just walk up to the horse that you want. And then you can just trap it like that. And now the horse cannot escape and you can just walk up to the horse and mount the horse. And you can take as much time in the world as you want to soothe it. The horse kicks you off. It doesn't even matter. You, The horse can't go anywhere, and you can just tame any horse that you want. So this is amazing, guys, because taming horses without this just royally sucked, and it was not fun at all. But now, if you just see the horse you want, you just go grab it. No more hassle. No more BS. Just get whatever horse you want whenever you want as soon as you see it. Like I said, you don't have to use these logs. You could just use those random building materials that you see by the side of the road all the time. Stuff like that. You could probably even do it with a bunch of rocks. You just got to make some kind of circle around them. And the hitboxes for building materials are so massive that the horse can't jump over it or even get out most of the time. Well, either way, guys, there you go. Once you have your horse tamed, you'll go ahead and pick this box up. And you'll free the horse. And then you'll continue to ride it. You may want to wait a little bit on doing that until it's actually tame before you, um, you know, remove it. Or you could even, one more thing to think about here, if you're in a hurry to get moving with the horse, 
is you can go down on it like that. And then what you can do is you can go on and get that initial tame. And then after you get the initial tame, which we already did, then you can grab a corner of this and shake it free and just drop it normally and then get back on. And then you can just walk out and not worry about him running away. So let's see if we can get him out of here. Hitboxes for these things are so big, actually, we probably can't. So there we go. That freed up enough space. And then we can just walk him out of there. There we go, guys. So if you were having any trouble taming horses or just wanted to be able to tame horses faster, more easily, so you can, you know, try to find the best horse in the game, well, there you guys go. With this horse taming glitch, you can get any horse you want whenever you want super easily in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.